welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to create the model of our room so to get the rooms from the back end first we should have the rooms data in our mongodb database so first of all we have to create the room model then we have to add the data with the help of that model using the node.js to the mongodb so in this lecture we are going to create this model of the room in the back end that means node.js so first of all let's observe the data in our room model so as you can see over here first we are having the room name so this is the deployed version so by seeing this version only we are going to develop our current version so this is the room name and these are all the facilities so parking reception free wi-fi these are all called as the facilities and this is the max count so these are all the properties room name facilities phone number type and this is the image URL. So in this image also we are having an array because when you click on the view details, we are having the multiple images. So these image URLs must be an array. So by observing this, we have to create our room model. So let's go to our backend and let's start creating the room model. Now I will open my Visual Studio code. So this is my Visual Studio code. So previously we have completed this database configuration and the Node.js connection, all these things. Now we are going to create the a new folder. So the folder name is models. In these models, the first one we are going to create is room. So in the coming lectures, we are going to create the booking and as well as the user model. So as of now, we do not have that access. So this room.js is enough. And in this room.js, first we have to create the mongoose require package. So we have to write require statement for the mongoose. Require mongoose. Then we have to create the schema. Const room schema. Schema equal to mongoose dot schema and parenthesis and in this curly braces you have to write all the properties of our uh, room model let's observe the deployed version the first one is name room name now i'm going to write the first one name and the conditions are the type is string and uh, required equal to true so if you want to write required is equal to true or if you want to leave it you can so it's not mandatory i'll write require true and the second one is max count phone number and type let's write all these things max count so the maximum people allowed for that room the type is equal to number and require is equal to true And the third one I'm going to write is phone number, the phone number of the room. So I am not using any camel case. I am directly writing all the things in the small letters only. Phone number. Type is equal to number. And here also required true. And the fourth property is rent per day or rent per night. You can use anything. I will write rent per day. It is also type string, not string. It is a type number because rent must be in the number format only. Required true. And the next one is image URLs. So we are having three images per every room. Here you can see this is the first image, second image and the third image. So I am using three images for every room. So I will use the array for this image URLs. Image URLs and it is a array so here we need not to write type and record all those things it is an array in that array you can pass any number of image urls that's up to your wish and let's see if there is anything so after selecting the date we will get the availability based on the current bookings so current bookings is also one of the important property for every room model suppose if i select any date here i want to select from 14th to 16 so here you can see I got the book now button which are available. So current bookings is our next property. In that current bookings we have to store all the bookings which are booked previously. Current 
bookings for this room so it is also an array because a room can have more than one current bookings control s i think these are enough let's observe the deployed version so we can check if we are missing anything so we have missed this type so type is also one of the important properties so we are having two types deluxe and non deluxe if you select all it will display all the rooms and if you select deluxe it will display only deluxe if you select non deluxe it will display only non deluxe so you have to use the type or category property so i am going to use type type and it is a string because it should have any value like deluxe or non deluxe so type is equal to string and require true and the last one is description of the room because when we click on the view details in the model pop up we have to get the carousel of the image and the bottom of the carousel of the image we should get the description of the room so description is also needed and the last one is description description it is also string only type string and required is equal to true control s so these are the required properties in the room model uh, so if you want to give the time stamps also you can give it so just very simple after this curly brace you have to give uh, one more curly braces and give time stamps is equal to true that's it control s if you give this time stamps is equal to true it will give the created it as well as the updated it properties at the mongodb so this is our room model so we have created the schema now i am going to create the model i just need to write const room model equal to mongoose dot model the first parameter is collection name the collection name will be rooms it should present in the mongodb and the second one is schema schema is equal to already we have created room schema now we have to export it export sorry module dot export module dot exports is equal to room model that's it we have successfully created our room model so in the next lecture we are going to add the static data into the mongodb because to work with the home page first we have to add all these uh, rooms in our mongodb as of now we do not have any rooms collection in the mongodb this is the mon rooms so here you can see we have only one collection sample so in the next lecture we are going to create the collection and we are going to add some static data in that so we can work with the static data until unless we create the room from our actual application Thank you see you in the next class